All right, start of day four, probably a couple of miles in. This will be about nine o'clock in the morning. Knees have kind of loosened up a bit. Thought I'd give the, the arm a rest from the sling. Nice brown arm, newborn fish. <laughs> See straight through it. <laughs> it's gonna look good. Also the beard's gonna look nice and I'll shave that off tomorrow. But yeah, so feeling good. Probably about 13 miles to go. Hoping it'll be finished by about, say wish, find a pub. A pub that's open, that is. <laughs> it's been a tough old couple of days, but today, final day, we're three miles in now to the 14 mile journey, so 11 to go. Uh, hoping to be there just after one o'clock um, and see how it goes from there. But constant walking, bring it on. Very lottery. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're poisonous, but you first. They look like blueberries. Yeah, get one. <laughs> Here, I'll pick one for you. <laughs> Down in one. <laughs> <laughs> the camera hits the deck pretty soon. <laughs> Here it is the uh, national trail symbol. It's uh, often a real relief to see that bit of lake on. Especially in the day when you're in a shower and you realise it's still there. I'm holding this gate with my butt arm. Let's change another field. Just in case you haven't seen many of these on the trip so far, anyway. How far in, Michael? Four point. Four point nine miles. That uh, should be just over a third now. Time. Ten. See, Michael is still walking like a mountain goat, whereas I'm walking uh, not as much like a mountain goat, as you can probably tell by the wobble on the camera at the moment. It's another cracking day. You'll be panting after that uphill section. Beaumont. <laughs> hey, I can see the pub from here. About quarter past ten. Alright, well, that's going to be open. Here we are, arriving in Beaumont. Job to good one. Job to good one. I haven't even looked in the guidebook to see if there's a pub here, but I'm going to have a quick stop just to adjust the backpack and take on some fluid and, and crack on. Got Jeff there. 
in a very dangerous area here, a lot of deep crevasses and pitfalls and Jeff just walks off. No consideration for others. Just thinks he's James Cracknell. Yes, in no way that makes me fogel. No way. All right. That's where we're going. It's not far. About about two hours ago took an extreme diversion, adding four hours to our day because that's the way we roll. Slash took a wrong turn, <laughs> morale was low. So it's turned our 14 hour day, well 14 mile day, sorry, into an 18 mile day. But we've just absolutely nailed the last three miles at about five miles an hour, which is ludicrous. So, roll on the next village and public house, hopefully. All right, here we are at Drumba. Going into the sound now, not far to go. See you on the other side. Right, so it's about four miles to go. We found somewhere we can get ice creams. It's not far, the morale is high. Good ice cream. But it just got higher. Bird fecal matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this trip's been perfect. That's what happens when you sit under a crab apple tree. <laughs> Bird on spawn. How how do you feel about finding a pub that was finally open? Better than anything. We're about a mile, twenty minutes from the end. I shouldn't I shouldn't interrupt you, but it deserves homage. The Hope and Anchor. Hope and Anchor. You got my seal approval. The stag in, the centurion in. Seems quite apt to uh, video a bit of the uh, closing stages here. So we're uh, just leaving Port Carlisle. Um, you can see there some of the. Uh, Portage. Don't know if that is the technical term, but the technical, technical nautical term, portage. <laughs> yeah, good portage. But uh, that's it, and we've got roughly a mile and a bit to go. Now, <laughs> we are going to have to slow down. There's a sign. Three and a half days. Three and a half days. Just under five hours walking time on the second day. Nearly 16 miles. And here is Bonest and Solway. I don't think I can make it. <laughs> May as well do it. And he's just the cameraman. <laughs>